Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Tenorshare's Reiboot. If you're having any issues while you update your iPad to iPadOS 16, don't worry, Reiboot has got you covered. With a deep repair, Reiboot can completely repair your iPad back to factory settings, or with a standard repair, you can troubleshoot over 150 iPadOS issues. It's very simple to use. Just simply connect your iPad to Reiboot and let the software do the rest. It will download the latest OS, install it on your iPad, and bring your iPad back to working order. So check out Reiboot. As always, links will be in the description down below. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about iPadOS because iPadOS this year is a very interesting update to say the least in my opinion and I wanted to share with you guys my honest thoughts and opinions about iPadOS and also a lot of the new features that Apple has brought to the iPadOS ecosystem. Now, something that was different this year, Apple never released iPadOS alongside iOS. They actually released it a month later, which is something that's definitely different. Apple usually releases iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, watchOS, and macOS at the same time, but this year iPadOS and macOS came a month later, which tells us that Apple is definitely looking to improve iPadOS and it's sort of in a hybrid state and I wanted to share those details with you guys. So let's just get right into this video. If you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Okay, so the first thing to note is that iPadOS is compatible with these iPads on your screen right now. So if you have any of these iPads, you can update to iPadOS 16.1. So let's talk about some of the new updates to existing applications and also talk about some new apps within iPadOS. And I want to start off with messages. Now in messages, you get a lot of the new features you get with your iPhone and iOS. You can send a message, right? And then you can edit, undo, or mark it as unread on the other end as well. So we can tap here, press and hold, undo, edit. So let's go ahead and undo that. And you also have the ability to mark as unread right there, just like on iPhone. You also have the options up top here, just like the iPhone. You have your recently deleted and things like that. So the menus and options behave exactly like they do within iOS. So this is new within iPhone. Pad OS just kind of unifying everything, right? Bringing the OS's just kind of being the same here. Now we also have some updates to the emails application. So for composing an email here, I can go ahead and compose an email and then schedule an email to be sent here. So let me go ahead and compose an email here and let's go ahead and send it. And let me show you how these new options work. So you can press and hold here and you now have the ability to send it now. It suggests to send later tonight or you can send it later right here and you have the ability to schedule your emails to go out. This is something that was much needed in iPad OS. So it is here within the latest iPad OS 16.1. There's also the ability to add richer text and more integration within the OS and also richer collaborations within notes and things like that. So yeah, the emails application definitely improving this time around, especially with a lot of those scheduling and richer text that you can now do within the application. Now also a new application is on board, the weather app, believe it or not, the iPad never had a weather app. We now have a fully featured weather app. It looks really, really nice. I really like the new weather app, of course, with the bigger screen you get a lot more information you have your radar here which you can take into full screen here you have all your layers and information it looks phenomenal honestly i think apple did an amazing job with the weather app here with ipad os something entirely new here apple also opened up the door for matter support and the home application so now we have more accessories that will be supported and the home application itself has been sort of redesigned it looks a lot nicer to uh, you know browse through your uh, home accessories right here you have more control things are just a lot cleaner a cleaner ui and of course matter support is here with the new ipad os 16.1 now in ipad os you get a lot of the stuff that you get with ios for example if we go into the photos application we have the new live text stuff going on here we can translate in real time and things like that we can also lift subjects from images by pressing and holding bringing this into notes messages emails everything that you're used to within ios it is sprinkled here throughout ipad os and you're going to feel very familiar if you've already been using ios 16 and now apple also gives you more control over your display under displaying brightness you have the option for view now you have three options you have large text you have default and then you have more space so i'm happy to see that apple giving you more control over the layout and spacing 
of the home screen on iPad. And now one of the biggest features coming to iPad OS, which is already in iOS as well, we go into photos here, we have the shared photo library. Now this allows you to share photos from your camera roll with a pre-selected group of friends or family members. But the cool thing is that you can also go into the camera of your iPhone and iPad. And if you're going on a family trip, you can enable this option directly from your camera. And every picture you take goes into that folder and everyone on that trip or vacation can see those photos in real time. Of course, you can enable and disable this directly through the camera of your iPhone and you can control everything you can share within shared photo library. Super cool feature. Again, it's been on iPhone for about a month now. It is now on iPad and a Mac OS as well. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about one of the biggest and most controversial features, in my opinion, coming to iPad OS this year, and that is Stage Manager. In my opinion, this is the one feature that everyone's talked about and that actually caused the delay of a month for iPad OS this year. And that is because when you uh, typically, when you go to multitask on iPad, you swipe up from the bottom, you have all of your apps open just like so, and then you can go into an application, obviously, very simple as we're used to. Now in control center, we have a new button. There it is, stage manager. When we enable it, we get this new thing here on the bottom left, which allows you to resize this window multiple times, depending on the actual application, as you can see right there. On the left, you have all the apps that are open and you can swipe between them. This is very interesting because I feel like this is the first stages of iPad OS transitioning into a full operating system, very similar to Mac OS. I'm not sure how Apple will uh, ultimately handle this, but you can have multiple multiple windows open at a time, just like so. This is something entirely new on the iPad. And uh, Apple is looking to definitely push the iPad to the next level. And this is sort of a glance at a hybrid OS that Apple is sort of slowly morphing into a computer operating system, if you ask me. This is something that's entirely new, something that Apple has never done, and the actual having windows, uh, multiple windows open in iPadOS looks amazing when you connect this to an external display. I really like how things work when you do that. So iPadOS definitely looking like an hybrid OS, something that's fairly interesting to see. Again, you can resize these windows here. You can have uh, apps switch in between, as you can see right here with the uh, stage manager here, something definitely interesting and I think this is what makes the software very, very interesting this year because it's sort of in a hybrid state where the iPad is almost trying to be a computer, but it isn't a computer just yet. Definitely has the power, so we'll see what Apple will do with the next update, iPad OS uh, 17 next year. And there you guys have it. This has been a quick look at iPad OS 16.1. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.